Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to work with AWS Code Commit. AWS Code Commit is a version control service provided by AWS and it is very useful for, uh, I mean, a lot of purposes like maintaining your, maintaining your code, versioning your code and DevOps, etc. Okay, so uh, we will see how to create a Code Commit repository, how to clone the repository to your local machine and how to start working with AWS Code Commit repositories. Okay, so as a first step, let's create a repository in AWS code commit and then we'll try to clone that repository to our local and work with it. Okay. So I am in my AWS console. Let me search for code commit. Okay. Let's go to AWS code commit console. Okay. This is how uh, the code commit console looks like to create a repository. Let's click on this one and let's call this test repo, whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to leave all the fails by default and click on create okay so creating a repository is pretty uh, straightforward so now this is an empty repository so once you have created a repository there are a uh, couple of ways you can work with you can directly work within with the repository in console itself like you can create a file here and then upload file and make your changes in console itself but it's not very convenient it's always convenient to clone the code to your local and work with the code in your local ids okay so i'm just going to show you like i mean how to create a file so this is a test repository so this is where you type your code so that is why i was saying it's not very convenient to work with this repository in the console so let's call it i mean i'll just type something like hello and save this file as hello.txt and all these are author name i'll just going to call it aws made easy and email id i'm just going to give some random email id okay commit message it's optional so you can commit changes here so this is how you can work with this repository from the console but it's not uh, very convenient so there is only one file in this test repository now Okay, so now let's see how to clone this repository to our local and uh, start working with this repository in our ID. Okay, so to do that, the first thing we need to do is we need to create an IAM user which will have access to uh, work with this repository and then we will use that IAM user to clone the repository in our local. Okay, let's go to IAM console and click on create user here and let's call this user as something like code commit user and we don't need to give them management console access. Click on next and click on attach policies directly. And in the policies here, click on code commit. And uh, so let's give this user code commit power user access. So this will have all the access which is required to work with the repository. So let's click on create user. Okay, so once this user is created, uh, you can I mean use this user's credentials to uh, clone the repository and work with this repository from your uh, local okay so before you clone uh, the repository you need to have uh, this git installed in your machine so if you don't have the git installed in your machine you can just uh, download it from here and install it okay so once you have installed the git uh, you can start working. okay so i have opened my command prompt so let me just change my directory to where i want to clone the repository let me click on this and cd okay this is the path where i want to clone the repository to and uh, so in the iam where you created the iam user uh, if you go to security credentials you can scroll to the bottom and here if you you find something called as http git credentials for code commit okay here you can click on generate credentials and it will generate a credentials and click on this download credentials okay so once you have downloaded those credentials uh, you can go here and select this clone url and clone https so this will copy the http url for the repository that you just created okay so once you have created that copied that go to your command prompt and type git clone and paste the repository url okay so this is the command to uh, clone the repository so for this command to work, you should have the git uh, installed. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And it will ask for the credentials to authenticate. 
Okay, so here the username and password is what uh, we generated in the previous step in IAM console. So I'm just going to paste the same here. Okay, so once you have entered the credentials, click on continue. And here, if you see, it's cloning the repository. Okay, so it says that cloning is done. Now, if you go to this uh, directory and if you open this, so this hello text file that we had created uh, is here. Okay, so this is how you clone the repository from code commit to your local. Okay, so once you have cloned this repository, you can start working uh, with this repository like any other. Uh, no repository so you can start uh, like working with all the git commands okay so to work with the commands so let's change the directory and let's type git branch okay so now you are in the main branch so you can like i mean uh, create any feature branch of your own and you can push the changes to this uh, code commit repository so that's how you create a code commit repository clone it to your clone it to your local machine and start working with the code commit repository from your local machine okay i hope you found this video helpful if you found the video helpful please uh, subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video